right here? No, I'm going to stand right there.
So, the exit procedure, what we're going to be asking everybody to do, unfortunately the only two auditoriums in our association that can house all parents are Greenwich and Whitehall. Um, so when the concert is over, we are asking all elementary parents to, just let me, all elementary parents to exit and we're going, you guys are all going to be going down to the right once you exit. All of your students' class, your children's classrooms are down at this end of the building. You can get to go to their rooms, get their stuff, make sure they have everything, and then you can exit the building out that main door that faces uh, Quaker Street. The only parents that we would allow to stay in the auditorium, we would ask you to stay, it, only if you have children, obviously, that are in the older uh, ensembles. You can stay, and then if your children are in this ensemble, they can you know, save them a seat, and they, they can meet you back in the auditorium. Okay? So, uh, and then as, as soon as everybody's out of here, we're going to be moving into the, the junior and senior high parents. Okay? Um, we haven't posted in about five years, so I don't usually do this, but I, does anyone have any questions? Because it is, it, it is you know, Unfortunately, again, there's only two auditoriums that house all the parents, and if we're going to have festivals here, this is kind of how we have to make it work. All set? Okay. Um, enough, enough of me talking, more of these guys playing. Um, so I, I would like to welcome and introduce our chairperson for the uh, uh, Elementary Instrumental uh, All-County Festival, and that is Ms. Susan Mason. From She is the Elementary Band Director from Lake George. And again, welcome this afternoon. You have a bunch of hardworking and delightful children. I don't know if you know that, but they truly are. We have had a great time with them over the past couple days. They have been under great direction this weekend of Mr. Andrew Kong. He has tons of energy. He has a great way of um, working with the students, and he tells really good jokes. Um, your children, and he was able to play with them a lot because they have just been very respectful and well behaved. Um, they have come a long way from our first few notes on Friday night to what you're going to hear today. So without further ado, it is my privilege to introduce to you the 2019 Elementary All-County Band under the direction of Mr. Andrew, Andrew Kahn.
me, I've really enjoyed getting the chance to work with all these uh, elementary students. It's been a real pleasure because I've gotten to pick some elementary charts that I don't ever get to play because I have the talent for once to do it. It's very exciting. Um, we spent a lot of our rehearsal time talking about big words, and I told them not the, the number of letters in the words, but words that mean a lot. And uh, the word that has been stuck in my mind all weekend is passion. Um, passion is one of those things that we often describe as a flame. And like flames, it can be a big, roaring bonfire, or it can be a little tiny ember. I know in my short career already, my uh, passion for music at times has waned down to nothing but a tiny little ember as I deal with all the struggles of life and the things that get in the way. And uh, this weekend, I've really caught the, the fiery passion they have for music. And uh, I'm no longer standing with a little ember for uh, music. But I, too, think that I have a little bit of a fire. And I hope that in this concert, if anything, that their, uh, their passion for the arts can inspire you for whatever your passion is. Um, this next song we spent a lot of time on, it's called Memories. I told them they're gonna have a lot of memories about practicing a song called Memories. <laughs>
last song for the 2019 Elementary All-County Concert. Uh, so we talked a lot about big words, and one of the big words we talked about was solemnly. That's the tempo marking at the beginning of this hymn for uh, those who serve. Um, we talked about how that word is very different than a lot of the words we use when we talk about the things veterans do. Usually we use words like triumphantly, which is in this song, but at the end. We, uh, we wanted to set the mood right to start this, so we've enlisted the help from uh, one of the high school senior trumpet players, Dylan Niles.
my older and already graduated. Okay. So yeah, so it'd be like empty nesters. Yeah. We're still kind of in the panic about college. She just made up her mind that. Oh, well, she has she has choices. Right? Yeah. Okay. She does. What are her? What is she leaving? Or are we not leaving? Where yet? <laughs> We're not really leaving. I mean, she is, but she she applied to several different places. Right. But um, she must have gotten lots of that time right now. Yeah. Okay. We visited Clarkson. We uh, visited the University of Buffalo.
Good afternoon, and I want to, first of all, you guys heard most of my, or all my announcements from the cafeteria, so I, I once again, would like to thank all the junior, senior, high parents for being patient, um, and, and now we're here. First thing, this is not my purse, but someone did leave it in the cafeteria. Did someone, anybody, anybody? All right, come on up, you're the lucky winner. portion of our All County Festival, and since you've already heard my announcements, let's get right to it. Um, I uh, would like to introduce our chairperson for the Junior High Group, uh, Mrs. Amy Baker, who is the Junior Senior High Band Director from the Lake George Central School District. Thank you again everybody for coming, and I want to really say thank you for sharing your children with us this weekend. They are a remarkable group of people. I know you hear that a lot, but they really, really are. And I don't know if um, the last time you had 67, uh, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders in a room together, but all weekend long, these kids were focused, and you could hear a pin drop um, at the direction, under the direction of Joshua Thompson, who is here today. He spent a great weekend with our students and taught them a lot about uh, playing and mastering their craft of becoming uh, musicians. So Joshua comes to us, um, he's a local guy, he's originally from Gloversville, he's a graduate of the Hart School of Music. He is a colleague and a French horn player. He teaches at UVM and he also teaches at Castleton University where he is the uh, director of the band there. He is also head of the Saratoga Springs Youth Symphony. He's the conductor there. And he is an all-around advocate for music students and music performance and music everywhere. So we're really lucky to have spent the day with Josh. And um, we welcome him and the junior band.
so much for coming out this evening. Uh, that first piece you heard, Metro Dance, pretty self-explanatory. It's inspired by the sights and sounds of New York City, and it's a dance. There you go. Not really creative. Uh, but it's a great <laughs> piece. It's a lot of fun. I'll be, it'll be in my head all weekend. Um, <laughs> and yours, if your child's practice at home. Uh, so, uh, it's really great. Uh, you, as you heard, a lot of the brass and sax mode emulated car horns coming, hopefully, into lovely car horns coming and going. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play. The next piece, completely different, as we go from New York City to Russia, um, Rock, Sergei Rachmaninoff, say that to the next fast, uh, was a Russian composer who wrote for the Russian Orthodox Church. He wrote for an all-night vigil mass, uh, multi-movement choral work called the Vespers. We're only doing, we only have like six more minutes, so it's only like three minutes long. Nobody panic. Um, it's a lovely, gorgeous work, originally for unaccompanied choir, uh, transcribed for band, so we hope you enjoy.
stupid. I mean, it's lovely. It's charming. We love Canada. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, my program doesn't make any sense because now we're going to do Chicago. Um, <laughs> because why not? Uh, <laughs> if any of you know me or have any, come to any concerts I've ever conducted, you know what you're in for, so this is not a shock for some of you. Um, so uh, Robert Lamb uh, wrote the words and lyrics to 25 or 6 to 4, literally 25 or 6 minutes to 4 a.m., and that's the story. That's it. That's it. There's no other meaning. It's just that's he had insomnia, of course. Um, and couldn't sleep. <laughs> couldn't sleep. Uh, for, you know, very, very stressed out, man. Uh, and <laughs> he wrote this piece. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite pieces to, to conduct for junior high all counties. Um, I was excited that some of them knew it. That didn't make me feel like I was a thousand years old and needed to, you know, be put in a nursing home. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Speaking of a lot of fun, this weekend was a blast. Um, it was a lot of work. They put it, in, it's so cliche to say, I know, you think your child wonderful and talented and blah, 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 I know, but it's true. Uh, they, <laughs> they did a great job. They worked so hard. Um, I'm, a, as Amy said in my introduction, my very all too kind introduction, um, I'm a college band director, so I came in a little um, angry last night. Um, it was really intense, but now you hear why they did such an incredible job. Um, I love working with this age group because mostly because I don't. Um, uh, <laughs> kidding. I need to stop talking now. Uh, but I just want to say one more thing. These students are all so lucky. They have incredible music directors that really truly care. I got to meet most of these band directors in one form or another through teaching at Castleton. A lot of them came to the Castleton Honors Festival. A lot of them I knew from other places and other places I taught. Uh, they really care. They put 110% effort in, and almost, I believe, all of them are incredible musicians. One of them's in the ensemble right now. It's not a seventh grader who had a gross bird, I promise. <laughs> Uh, but they're all incredible musicians. A huge thank you to Sean Boyd and Jessica Stout for hosting. I played with both of them. They're incredible. A huge thank you to Amy Baker, who's a fellow French horn player. Um, I, she's been incredible. They've all been incredible. They're so nice. I keep thinking that it's not real. Uh, so thank you to them. Thank you to you for supporting the arts. Please continue to support the arts and support music education. It's really important. I don't know how many other ways we can say it. It's important. It's a big deal. Keep supporting it. Keep supporting the community arts. All the things. Thank you and have a great night.
afternoon. My name is Melissa Clark. I'm the band director at Whitehall Junior Senior High School. I'm the chairperson for the Senior High All County Band group this year. Um, on stage, we have the underclassmen, and we'd like to recognize the seniors that are participating in this year's event. So, from Cambridge Central School, Natalie Giordana. <coughs>
the Sixth Symphony of Tchaikovsky. Sounds like a modern march, sort of, but you know, Tchaikovsky was a pretty modern, cool, romantic composer. It was, uh, the, I think, the last piece that was premiered right before he died, but he didn't know he was dying at that point, so it's pretty joyful. In my notes it says maybe it was, he, he was, sh I don't know, something about how he, thought, he knew he was dying, but I don't hear that at all in that piece. It seemed pretty happy and fun and, you know, awesome. Uh, I thought it sounded like kind of, you know, 20th century march, but anyway, they did a heck of a job on that piece. Way to start with the high school. Year. So next we'll do a medley that I think we've been having fun with, and hopefully you'll enjoy it.
not going to go and talk for an hour if you want to go home. Because, and I could stand here and for an hour probably and tell you how great your children are, but you already know that, and you just heard that. So I'm going to just say to you, congratulations. Thank you for all your hard work. Holy cow. And you probably hear this every year when the teacher goes, oh, you can't believe what they sounded like yesterday compared to today. Oh, they work so hard. Well, it's true. Holy smokes. I think you guys realize that too. But I'm going to ask you a favor. Can you take this experience in your hearts and share it with everybody that you know? Because I don't need to stand here and preach to the choir and tell you how awesome this is because you already know it. People that aren't here maybe don't know it. So if you could just pass on this love of music to anybody that's not in this room right now. Just so you have to have this in your head when we do this last piece. Foiled again as a tribute to the dastardly deeds of the sepia toned, mustached villains of the silent movie era. With billowing capes and menacing cackles, these characters of evil do doers were typically found tying maidens to railroad tracks or dynamic sticks. When their plots were inevitably foiled by the dashing hero, the villain would cry, Curses, foiled again. So that's what you have to think about when you hear this piece. Thank you. 